Hey y'all, it's Danny with Escape Power Sports, and I went to change the oil on our new used work truck for the first time last Saturday, and I figured I'd share the procedure with y'all in case anyone was interested in seeing how to change the oil yourself in a 6 liter gas powered Chevy. And I started by running the truck for a few minutes to warm up the oil. And once she's warmed up, it sure don't hurt to pop off the oil fill tube to help the oil drain smoothly. Then we can grab a 15 millimeter socket or wrench, crawl under the passenger side of the truck, and remove the drain plug here. The truck up here on block so we can maybe hopefully see a little better but to get to that drain plug we're going to come in here from the passenger side and right there on the bottom of the motor over here on the passenger side you can see your 15 millimeter drain plug right there having a drain bucket ready to catch the oil and a few shop towels for our tools and hands and at this point i like to put a piece of duct tape right over the keyhole just to make damn sure she don't get cranked up without oil in her now, oil filter tools come in a variety of shapes and sizes and work in a couple different ways, but the bottom line is any of these tools should work on this truck. And to get to that oil filter, we're going to come in here from the driver's side. If I can crawl up under here and show you, oil, fil oil filter is going to be right here over on the driver's side. Nice and easy to get to. Now we can remove our old oil filter by spinning it counterclockwise. And after picking the wrong oil filter off the Walmart shelf, I just went to the local auto parts store to make sure I ended up with the correct one. And once it's finished draining, we'll add a dab of oil to the rubber gasket on the new filter and thread it into place clockwise. It don't have to be crazy tight or anything. Now usually at this point I like to spray this area with degreaser and hose off the mess to make checking for leaks easier. But all my cans of degreaser were frozen solid. So we'll just get them next time. With our new oil filter in, we can reinstall our drain plug. And I like to go until it's hand tight and then an eighth to a quarter turn with the ratchet. And if you've got a torque wrench, that'd be even better. You could just set it to 18 to 20 foot pounds. Now we can add six quarts of your 5W30 oil of choice. I went with this Walmart brand oil because it was the cheapest full synthetic, was the correct 5W30 weight, and had all the performance certifications the Chevy book said to check for. That being said, if your budget allows for six quarts of the pricier Mobile One full synthetic, I hear it's great stuff. But what's really most important is that we change our oil when the light comes on or on your truck's recommended schedule. With our six quarts of oil in, we can check our dipstick has oil on it and crank her up checking for leaks around the oil filter and drain plug. And I definitely like to check the oil again after the truck's ran for 30 seconds or so as the reading will go down once the oil's had a chance to circulate through the motor. And I'll add some oil if necessary to get to the middle of that safe range. And I'll also check the oil a couple times in the coming week as I put miles on the truck just to be 100% sure she's getting the proper lubrication to her delicate motor parts. Now on this new used truck I was able to scroll to the oil change notification and hold the trip reset button to reset it. But on our work truck model I do it by turning the key to the on position and mashing the gas three times right quick without starting the truck. Anyhow I hope this helped with your 6 liter Chevy oil change. And if it did, do me a quick favor and give this video a thumbs up. And if you happen to haul Polaris or Can-Am ATVs and side sides with your Chevy truck, check out some of our other how-to videos on those machines. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank y'all for watching. And until next time, see y'all on the trails.